so first and foremost uh, one should know the definition of diabetes and according to the american diabetes association it is if the fasting sugar is more than 126 and the postprandial sugar is more than 200 or if the hba1c is more than 6.5 uh, this is diabetes so if the fasting sugar is more than 126 and post viral is more than 200 on two different occasions then it is perfectly diagnosed as diabetes and why do we need to worry about it because diabetes is a silent disease and it involves every cell of the human body and uh, the dreaded complications of diabetes are uh, uh neuropathy retinopathy and nephropathy and macrovascular complications in the form of cv stroke myocardial infarctions congestive heart failures and peripheral arterial disease these are all the dreaded complications of diabetes so if you don't control your diabetes you can have all these dreaded complications and the definition of control is keep your a1c close to 6.5 if you are elderly you may keep it below 7 So that's the reason why we need to control diabetes regularly monitoring diabetes get your sugars done closely and monitor your sugars and follow your doctor's advice and take the medicines regularly even if you are under control So borderline diabetes is defined as people having fasting sugar between 100 and 126 they are called as impaired fasting sugars and if the postprandial sugars are between 140 and 200 they are called as impaired glucose tolerance test so impaired glucose con- impaired glucose tolerance are impaired fasting glucose so these are two borderline cases and if you control your body weight very well and if you get your body weight down to normal so you can prevent the development of full blown diabetes so in these borderline cases also if you try to control them aggressively you can pre- definitely prevent the onset of full blown diabetes so you got to keep your weight under control and do regular exercise walking daily 30 minutes per day 3 kilometers 5 days in a week and keep your weight under control eat more proteins less of carbs and less of fats and lots of green vegetables and salads all these things lifestyle modification go a long way and if you control all these things so you may prevent the progression to full blown diabetes and once you are diabetic try to be very aggressive in controlling sugars in the very first year of your diagnosis of diabetes because if you control them you can definitely have legacy effect and the legacy effect is you can prevent further development of complications like myocardial infarction stroke and uh, peripheral arterial disease all these dreaded complications are reduced by more than 50% if you control aggressively your diabetes in the very first year of diagnosis and these days we have got excellent anti hyperglycemic agents available with us so if you treat them aggressively there is one dangerous risk of hypoglycemia but with this newer agents which are available in the world market today they are called not called as oral hypoglycemic agents but they are called as anti hyperglycemic agents what does this mean oral hypoglycemic agents have a tendency to cause hypoglycemia whereas anti hyperglycemic agents are agents which will get your high sugars down to normal but it will never cause hypoglycemia so if you are trying to treat your diabetic patients aggressively in the very first year so hit early hit hard is the mantra latest these days with anti hyperglycemic agents and try to get their a1c down to normal as soon as possible so you can have the legacy effect and long term complications are prevented